Good morning guys and welcome back to Yorkshire's Finest Pear and this time as you can see we're not in Yorkshire we're on the Norfolk coast we're at a little place called Walcott I do believe it's called now we did set off yesterday and we have found it quite difficult to find uh, park ups and unless you want to pay between 30 and 60 pound a night on some of the campsites around here it's not happening we did want to stay up in Cromer uh, unfortunately there was nowhere to park there were a big car park right on the edge of the cliff you could park there all day but unfortunately no overnight parking now as you can see there's a beach behind me down there is all free parking reckless is there there were a, a French motorhome parked in front of us, but that left this morning. One there. I'm having my brew as well. I, I need him chinning. I says that's a long bloody intro. Shut up. We're having a good conversation this morning. So I'll finish my brew and then I'll take you for a little wander around. So we'll catch you once my brew's done. So we're taking a walk down here guys. Look at this. All these little things. Oh the cute. So we've left Reckless back up there. We never walked down to this little shop because we've run out of stuff for us coffee. And when we get back up that way, I'll take you around that little shack thing. It's quite cute actually. So here we have, we have got the Kingfisher fish bar and ice cream parlour. See, it's quite busy, and if you could have smelly vision, it smells quite nice actually. Some public toilets here. Oh, what's this? Wandering through a wild bolt cot. Apparently, there used to be mammals. Do you look, mammoths? And this all, that's all that seems to be in uh, Walcott. So, I'm going to go into its shop and have a look, see what there is. So, I've just been in the Walcott store. What they don't have in that shop, they've got everything. Everything that the big, big supermarkets have. They've got a little post office, a little tad expensive, but they didn't have what I wanted. Well, they did, but I want paint price because I'm a tight ass and it's way, way too expensive for what I wanted. So this is where we wanted to park last night. Keep hearing them planes but we just couldn't get on so I'm gonna head back up and I'm gonna get Buddy into the sea so I'll catch you back when we're back up at Reckless so welcome back guys we left Walcott this afternoon and we decided to head down the coast 
and we pulled in at some lovely places and the Norfolk District Council where's Buddy gone? come on this way the Norfolk District Council are not very motorhome or camper van friendly and no overnight stays everywhere no matter where you go so we found a lovely little pub uh, I did read it and search for sites that did say ring ahead but we were practically just round corner from it so I rung it unfortunately they were fully booked up so we carried on into Great Yarmouth nothing in Great Yarmouth campsite expensive or fully booked so we couldn't do that so we headed south again and we entered the Suffolk border so we are now in Lower Stuff so Lower Stuff has a lovely little beach we're at the bottom end of Lower Stuff and these beach huts go all the way along and the beach has been full today of people when we got here this afternoon it was quite busy and as you can see he's off swinging again and off camera his first find what a pound coin so that's a story up to now as travels we're just going to be around Norfolk but we're in Suffolk now so if anybody anybody knows where to park in Norfolk along the coastline please leave it in the comments because I would really like to come back here but at the moment it's putting me off so I'll carry on letting him swing he's in a world of his own look Unfortunately, Buddy's not allowed on this part of the beach. There is signs up saying from May to October on this part of the beach there's no dogs allowed and it's a thousand pound fine. So I'm going to take you for a walk across this lovely beach, leave Neil and Buddy there. That's been, looks, looks like tractor's been on and raked it all up and Neil's a bit seething not seething shall I say because he says well I could go and detect on the air at night can't we ain't got time so I'll show you what I'm walking up to
So we left you yesterday in Lower Staff. We contemplated on heading home because there were no places to park. It was quite hard to park. But we decided now we'll try again and we came back to Unstanton and we decided to stay in the Honeystone car park which is here It's a Marston's pub and all you do is you go in you tell them where you've parked you put your car registration in and they do advise you to pre-book a table because it does get rather busy which we found last night we only just managed to get a table and they do like you to have something to eat or drink in the pub 20% off will be the light as well there you go you heard it from the horse's mouth but we're going to take you for a walk into Hunstanton and let's see what Hunt Stanton's got to offer apart from these two Yorkshire's finest pair I've got to say Norfolk has not blown me away touring sites very far and few between the mainly statics or chalets and if you do get a campsite, which we found one yesterday, didn't we? It was £58 a night with electric or £38 without electric. And I know we're from Yorkshire and I do know people have to pay for their holidays and they have to pay on campsites, but there's no way I'm paying £38 a night not to get a view just a, a toilet block or a field that's not worth £38 in my eyes so we're going to do fun fair and onto the seafront Busy. Not much of a beach. Wonder what they're doing out there with tractors. Anybody knows? Yeah. Anybody knows what the door at Hunstanton on a tractor on wet part at beach? Let us know in comments. Because there's two. Let me see. So when we come for a walk down here last night, the sea was right in. It was blowing a right gale. It was crashing up against another pier, well, promenade bit. It was really bad, wasn't it? Yeah. So let's go for a walk and let's see what Hunstanton's got to offer. I don't think it's much of a... He's <laughs> very bouncy. He's <laughs> very bouncy. They're very bouncy. They're seven months. I was 18 months. Oh, you lovely. <laughs> Come on then, lad. So we come in off the front. I'm going to have a walk up into the shops. Lovely little grassed area. It's like it's <laughs> Kimi bikers. 
for a little seaside town. It's very, very busy. So how many is that then? How many is that? That's me on picture. What? We are buddy. Get <laughs> our buddy that. <laughs> I'm the king. He's a knight, you idiot. Little knight then. So I wonder what this is up here then. So I don't know what the monument represents, but if you know, leave it in comments. How long is this? Henry Stileman. It says the sixties at the best music decade. Ah, oh, good stuff. The 60s Friends Holiday Inn in camper vans. But they're not camper van friendly around here. Won't buy any of them. Why? They're all wrong time. <laughs> That's because they've stopped. Stopped in time. My life. And another elephant. Can you read? Don't climb on it, please. Please do climb on it. No, it says please do not. That's another discover. How nice is that? Seagulls nicking chips and chips. Oh, Neil's shop that he keeps thinks is a big joker. Keeps saying I'll never come away without him. Oh, I want a nap. New mask for Neil. That's what he needs. Wait till he sees this video. It's definitely gonna kill me. Find you a present in there, love. What's oh, that? A new wife? No, no. You'll have to watch the video. That's my old one's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to watch this video what? to see. Oh well. I'll watch it, like it, subscribe and ding the bell. That looks like it's got some wood in it. I wonder if they still light it. Do you know what it is? Eh? Uh, no. I don't. What? Right, they used to light them. Obviously. In olden days, they, they used to light them along the coast, so they know they were coming up to the coastline. Okay. Yeah. Like an early lighthouse. Yeah. If I'm wrong, leave it in comments. But did they used to light them years and years ago? Well, of course they used to light them, obviously, you didn't see Yeah, that. but what were it lit for? Because they used to burn out witches there. Clearly they didn't catch me! <laughs> it's a shame they stopped doing it, isn't it? <laughs> Come down here and I could hear 
possibly have it over the wall. And I think it's just proposed to her. You see. She just did a classic shot. She got a big can of Heineken, stood it on the wall, put her finger up against the can the can like that. Right, so she was looking like that, that to see we can up against we hand up against the can of Heineken and took a picture. And then I heard him say Yeah, she's just said yes. So if that's you guys, congratulations if you do watch this and I hope you have a long happy marriage just like ours of 36 years up to now and look at him laughing I guess you're telling the story about them proposing Yeah Really? Yeah Have you told them they have proposed to you? Yeah Oh, have you told them? She says, I'm up dope. I says, shit, does that mean I have to marry thee? And that's honest true. But I didn't say I'm up dope. I just said, I'm pregnant. And he went, oh, I suppose that means we've got to get married then. Mm. That were it. Of the romantic. Mm. Still here, aren't we? Yeah, we are, love. Yeah. 36 years later. I'd like to say happily married, but... Well, I've... He's a rotten swine. So, come on, let's hit a boozer. That's yours I'm spilling. So we'll try this new drink. Neck oil, it's nice. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's nice. Oh! So drinks finished and we're going to head back to Reckless to get ready because we have got a table booked and we have got table 17 booked which is just there in the window and we'll go back out for something to eat and some more neck oil and I've just come around the corner and there's quite a few, a few more vans parked here now so we've got these here look and reckless in the corner so we're all ready and we're off for something to eat in the honeystone and are you going to behave yourself today? <laughs> says her, what goes dancing in Tesco's? no dancing at table no, no dancing in Tesco's either <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it. I really enjoyed that. So did I. As you can see. Good morning, guys. We had a great night last night in the Hunnestown. Few drinks back in Reckless and to bed to listen to it rain. Woke up this morning and it's raining. Got me brew. Oh, well deserved brew. Uh, I think this is his last day in Hunstanton. I think we are heading home, but we have had a, a couple of relaxing days here. But today it's raining. 
from a going back in and we're having bacon and mushroom butties before we hit the road. So we'll catch you later on. <laughs> 